Issues stemming from the non-appointment of a Deputy Speaker of the House since the exit of Member of Parliament, Sarah Flood Bobre, are beginning to boil over. The House has yet to appoint someone to fill the post. As a result, Attorney at Law Martinez Francois, after months of frustration, personally served Speaker of the House Andy Daniel at his residence on Sunday, October 27, 2019. HTS cameras caught up with Daniel on Tuesday. I can confirm now that um, I was personally served by Mr. Martin Francois himself on Sunday at my residence. What does that mean? It means that now that I am obligated to be in court um, and that the matter can proceed thereafter. Yes, I was served personally by Mr. Francois himself on Sunday just gone, on his way to Junique World Festival. And when is the court case? The 41st of October. Attorney Francois believes it's a matter of following the constitution. The post has remained vacant since 2016. His contention is that the, the parliament should have appointed a deputy speaker for now, by now. And um, being the speaker, his, his action is against me because I am the head of the House of Commons. House, our, our lower house, sorry. Um, and that is the issue. Daniel argues that as the Speaker of the House, he will not suspend the business of the House until the House appoints a Deputy Speaker. I know what the standing order says. I know what the Constitution says. Personally, there are situations where you would require the Deputy Speaker to be in place. If there is no Deputy Speaker as it is now, I don't believe that the business of the house and the business of the people ought to be suspended until such time that the house believes there is need to appoint a deputy speaker that is my position according to section 36.3 of the constitution quote when the house first meets after any general election of members and before it proceeds to the dispatch of any other business except the election of the speaker the house shall elect a member of the house who is not a member of the cabinet or a parliamentary secretary to be deputy speaker of the house and if the office of deputy speaker falls vacant at any time before the next dissolution of parliament the house shall as soon as convenient elect another member of the house to that office lizandi boville jones hts news force